Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a very exciting video for me. I'm going to be showing off the Fabrico MK1 pre-order webpage so people can see the webpage to buy a Fabrico MK1 kit, which is so exciting. I'm hoping to get even more people into building rooks and modding it and experimenting and getting their first Core XY printer, their first DIY printer, and Fabrico is helping with that. This of course is my Rook using the billing materials on the GitHub. It's totally fine. Um, it's as cheap as possible basically. I'm using like really, really cheap hot ends, fans, um, nothing, nothing fancy. My kit doesn't even specify the price for M3 bolts and nuts and all the hardware and stuff like that. My bill of materials has like a glass bed. This one does have a blue rolls bed on it, but we're gonna see in just a moment here how much better the Fabrico kit is. And it's incredible that the price they were able to get with their kit and how much better the quality is. I'm definitely gonna be building one for myself, uh, a really nice Rook with their kit that'll have all of the mods that I kind of like. Um, a rookery uh, tool head, one piece X carriage, um, things like that. So let's hop over to my computer and let's take a look at the Fabrico kit. Okay, here we are on the Fabrico website. You can see the Rook MK1 kit is front and center here. The kit is $2.99. This is a pre-order price. Um, there is a savings here, which is awesome. So. Something to note, my bill of materials on GitHub is $250 US. So let's take a look and see what you get for an extra $50 more. Um, I think people are gonna be really uh, impressed with the kit they've put together. So I really already like the branding and the attention to detail they've put into this. Um, Unleash your inner grandmaster, which is really cool. Obviously Rook, inspired by like chess piece, um, that type of thing. So really neat to see that. Um, they have a cool paragraph here, a little bit more about the Rook. Um, please note this is a pre-order. Um, it is in production, but it's going to take some time for some kits to start rolling out. I'm very excited to get one of these kits myself. Like I say, I'm going to be doing a build on the channel. Um, I think this is going to be really neat. So, what's included in a Rook MK1 Fabrico kit? So, right off the bat, we have Gates belts. So not some no-name um, generic belts. These are Genuine Gates belts, six millimeter wide and 4.5 meters, which is plenty for the Rook. We have Honey Badger pulleys here, three 22 pulleys. We have all of our F695 bearings, rubber feet, and we have the full hardware kit for this. So all the nuts, bolts, screws, that type of thing Something really neat to note here is they actually went a little bit extra and got some really nice precision one millimeter shims instead of generic M5 washers, which can vary in size. So right there is a really nice addition to this kit and will make it even better for those uh, builders assembling this. So. 25% extras on all the parts here, which is really nice. We have our bed springs so that we can mount a bed. They have even specced out a better external power supply than what I have on the bill of materials. So this is a 200 watt, um, roughly about 8.3 amps, I believe. Um, my power brick is six point something amps. It's 150 watt, so you're getting a better power supply with this kit. You're getting um, the DC connector, and then you're also getting an M-stop for Z if you choose to use an M-stop for Z. I've been experimenting a little bit with sensorless homing on Z, but there's the M-stop there for you so you can actually have that on your Z. One of the big things about this kit here is the 125 millimeter aluminum Mic 6 bed. This is a big, big addition to this. My GitHub basically just specs out like a glass bed, like whatever you kind of want to use, that type of thing. 
This is a much, much nicer bed and already worth the extra costs, in my opinion. This is a really, really nice edge-to-edge -edge heated bed. So the heating uh, portion of the bed is the full length and full size of the bed. It's 125 millimeters, which is really awesome. We're also getting um, really nice branded uh, Honey Badger motors for X or for A, B, and Z, and then also for the uh, extruder, we have a pancake. They're including a BMG kit so that you can use a Sherpa Mini extruder as Bowden or if you want to mod the Rook with direct drive, something like that. You can see here on Speedy's uh, Rook here, we actually have the Sherpa Mini right here. So um, Fabrico Speedy is part of the Discord as well as of course Fabrico is a vendor on my Discord. If you have any questions or anything like that, they're there to answer those for you and, and help you out get um, one of these kits and uh, that type of thing. So Speedy does have a, a GitHub for this, uh, these kind of mods he's put together. Um, he has this uh, One Piece X carriage, which is really awesome. Uh, this is Gulsifer's Rookery tool head, which I've showed off. And um, Gulsifer is a really active member on the Rook Discord. I definitely encourage people interested in this printer Join my Discord if you haven't already. So I will link Speedy's GitHub so that you can see all of his mods. He has some different mods for the idler towers and motors and that type of thing. And that's honestly one of the best features about the Rook is because it's so 3D printed, you can change up anything you want on this printer and really make it your own. So what else we have here? We have some really nice, uh, honey badger uh ceramic hot end so this is massively better than the hot end that i have spec'd out generally i spec out like an eight dollar cr10 random clone off of amazon or aliexpress this is a really nice ceramic heated cr10 uh, hot end uh, it's gonna have a rook logo on it all that kind of stuff very very nice piece again already the bed and the hot end for this kit is worth it certainly this is also going to have really nice Honey Badger linear rails. Honey Badger make great rails for boron zeros and that type of thing. Um, so you're getting awesome rails included in this kit. You're getting also Honey Badger LM8UU bearings for the Z, which is really awesome with some rods. A genuine Big Tree Tech S Caramini E3 version 3, which is spec for the Rook. This is a really great mainboard and I generally use it on a lot of my smaller builds. It's all-in-one compact um, mainboard and I really like that it has like a all-in-one heat sink that's mounted onto the board it's not like those thermal pads and a whole bunch of random heat sinks that generally fall off so really great board and then of course some really good fans honey badger branded fans this printer is meant to print PLA primarily so you want really good cooling and that's going to be accomplished by these honey badger fans so of course, this is a kit, this is a DIY kit. You're gonna to have to self-source some things or provide some things here. So you can get a PEI um, sheet for this printer as an optional add-on. You can use a piece of glass. Um, you can actually use painter's tape that I love. Um, you'll need some crimping tools, that type of thing for wiring, very common with DIY printers if you want to. Um, Printed parts, of course, there's a lot of different ways you can build a Rook. So join the Discord, you know, check out your options, that type of thing. Um, note, Fabrico is an awesome supporter of me. They're on my Patreon. They support me. Um, they're, they're working very hard to make sure that this kit is awesome. We can see here the additional uh, Honey Badger uh, PEI sheet. That is perfectly sized for the Rook, 125 by 125. These are really, really nice sheets. Um, so yeah, this is, I think, in my opinion, if you don't want to self-source and you don't have any of the parts left for the Rook, this is the way to go. Um, the big quality jump in all of these parts is, is really worth it. And I'm definitely going to be probably building one of these on stream with some mods that I like and really showing off the quality, but um, I definitely encourage anyone who's interested, join the Discord, take a look at the Fabrico vendor channel, ask questions, and I hope to see everyone all there. All right, thanks everyone.